In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a distressed black and white photo effect in Photoshop. Hey everyone, my name is Justin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you a really simple way to create a distressed black and white image using just filters and adjustment layers in Photoshop. A photo like this is a good example of something that would look good with this photo effect because it already has that grungy feel of a parking garage. So the first thing you want to do is go to Filter, Lens Correction, and then head over to the Custom tab and under Vignette you want to darken it up a little bit. Now my photo already had a bit of a natural vignette going on because of the light source, so I'm going to not do too much, but for you, you can go ahead and darken it further if you like. So now that we have a vignette, um, we want to add some noise to the photo, but first I want to make sure I'm working with smart filters. So I'm going to right click my layer and convert it to a smart object. Now all this means is that every filter I put on here, I'll be able to adjust and edit. So I'm going to add two filters here to add some noise and distressing. So first one is going to be filter, noise, add noise. I like to use a uniform distribution and monochromatic colors and just use an amount that looks good for your photo. So 30% looks about fine for me. So now you can see uh, the noise filter pops up under our smart filters. So I can always double click it and go back and adjust it, but I'm going to leave it at that. And this is going to come in handy when we add our next filter. So this is filter, render, fibers. So I like to use a variance of four and a strength of one. And if you check the little preview here, you can actually see what you're getting. And if you don't like it, you could hit randomize a few times to get something else or get something smoother. But I'm going to go ahead and go with this one here. And I'll select okay. But now I need to use my smart filter. So if I head over to the fiber effect, I can click on the slider here. I can double click it and change the blending mode. So what I want to do is actually set it to overlay and turn the opacity all the way down to about 20%. So this gives the photo a really unique wavy and distressed look that I think is the key touch to this effect. And it actually looks good even in color still, but one last step is to go to Image, Adjustments, Black and White. And from here you can leave it as is, but the black and white menu lets you kind of turn down some shades like the reds and turn some up like the yellows. So you can play around with that to your liking, but go ahead and select OK when you're done. And now you have your distressed black and white effect with some unique distressing that will have people wondering how you got that effect. So hopefully you guys see how to use smart filters and some of the filters that Photoshop gives you built in to create your own textures and distressing without using other pictures. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.